This is a one minute chart of the SPY, also known as the Spiders, for Thursday, November 16, 2023. It was another good day in the market, trading per the rules of the strategy that I use. Several good trades and more than a handful of E-mini points were pulled out of the market today. So let's take a closer look at how it happened. The four horizontal lines on the chart are the levels that the spiders hit and which activated trades in the E-mini futures, or the ES. There were seven total levels calculated long before the market opened this morning, but the other three levels are not shown here because price never came into them during the trading session. So the spiders opened up here around this 449.25 in the neighborhood of this level. But because of a rule for the strategy when trading these levels, none of this back and forth at 449.25 activated any trades in the E-minis. It wasn't until the spiders came back into this level at around 1020 a.m. where a long trade was entered, and I'll cover that momentarily. So the first trades that were activated was when the spiders came up into these levels at 450.11 and 450.33. So both of these levels were averaged in with short positions and a base hit was achieved with a combined position when the price came down per the original design of these levels. Scaling in at two levels when they're this close together, usually within, when they're within like 40 or so cents in the SPY, is effectively the same as trading the levels independently and getting a base hit for each. It's just good to point out when the levels are this close together, oftentimes scaling in at two levels and trading the average entry price is necessary. There are certain parameters to be on the lookout for to know whether to add a position at the, at the nearby level or to wait for a signal on a, of a fumble on the first trade in reverse, but that's another topic for another day. So when the spiders came back down into 449.25, the ES was primed to buy contracts when the spiders touched the five cent buffer. So this means when the spiders touched 449.30, and they did that by spiking through just two cents at 449.28, that was a low in this candle at 10.20 a.m., so ES contracts were bought for a long position. And very quickly, I was rewarded with another base hit in the E-minis at this level. So at this point, the top three levels had been satisfied and were off the table for the rest of the trading day. And when spiders came down about an hour or so later into 448.18, there was another activation uh, keyed in for a long trade down here as well. And it's easy to see how the spiders found support at the 448.18 and took off to the upside from there. So this is the last base hit of the day. It was in the books, and since all these levels have been traded, provided profits before lunchtime, there was no need to hang around any longer. So once a level has been hit successfully, I don't trade them again during the trading session. You can see all four levels here that were hit in the spiders. Together, they provided 16 S&P points for the day. So $1,600 with two ES contracts is a good day in my book. And if you have the margin to trade more contracts, you can see what the possible profit potential is by using this strategy. I hope and I hope you found this information interesting and helpful. Have a great day.